Hello everyone, it's Richard with the review of the new Galaxy S8 from Samsung. Okay, so uh, I haven't had a new phone in a long time, being stationed in Korea, so I decided to go ahead and get the S8. I upgraded from the S6, so it's a little bit of a, a jump. Um, jump straight into this, so we got the S8 on the box. Samsung's really good with their their advertising and their packaging. Midnight Black was the color I picked. Okay, um, let's go over some specs real quick. We got so it says we have a 146.5 millimeter, 5.8 inch full rectangle display, uh, 5.6 rounded corners with a quad HD plus AMOLED screen, dual pixel cameras, 12 megapixel rear. 8 megapixel front, IP68 water and dust resistant. Samsung claims this device is resistant up to 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet for 30 minutes. Not sure how well that works. Uh, we also have iris scanner, Knox protected, 64 gigabytes of installed memory, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Also have the option of 256 gigabytes of micro SD you can go up to that we um wireless charging you charging pad is required pricing on that is about ninety dollars USD and then we also have earphones tuned by AKG these are Harman headphones tuned by AKG supposedly a ninety nine dollar value okay so that's pretty much that the camera I'll go into specs on that a little bit later. There's a few other ones. So once you pull the cover off, you just have Samsung here. Pretty much the same thing. You have a little sticker here. Mine's already broken because I had it set up in the store. And I've been playing with it a little bit. Okay, so once you open it, you have this beautiful phone. Like I said, I got the Midnight Black. Um, the only change from the Midnight Black to the other ones is you'll have this little, like right here, will be different colors. My wife has the Orchid Blue 5 or S8 Plus, so hers front is basically the same, just this thing right here is blue. The bezel, I guess, is what it's called. So you have this little tab you pull up. Normally, when you pick it up from the store, you will have a plastic cover. And then on the back, you just have a plastic cover as well. I don't know why, but they give you extra seal stickers. I guess they knew that the world would want to do reviews so they give you these so you can reseal your box after you set up everything and imitate like you're doing a full review okay so now let's get into the box we have this little box right here on the back we have your eject pen for your SD slot at the top and your SIM card as well they're included in the same same area so inside this box we have your quick start guide and you also have how to transfer content to your new Galaxy phone. So what Samsung has done is they give you this plug. Okay, you see that plug? Alright, so one end has a normal USB. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. The other end has the new Type-C plug that Samsung has gone to. So the design of this plug from what I understand is that there was issues with the old plug where you'd go to plug it in, it's upside down, you go to plug it in, you know, you just keep messing up your plugs. This one, it goes in either way. Basically, Samsung catching up to Apple as far as the lightning charger goes. And it plugs in, it snaps in. And then you just plug your USB cord in, transfer all your data. If your phone doesn't have a Bluetooth capability to do so, it's probably a little bit quicker. You also come with this uh, micro USB connector so you can plug your old USB car, uh, cords into your new connector charge your phone that way so you don't have to buy new accessories and all that stuff comes with a fast charge plug I like how Samsung decided to make everything black now instead of the old white the white plugs and all that stuff uh, comes with the the new USB cord not exactly sure on length doesn't say it on here it's probably a good three or four feet maybe 
And then here are the headphones from AKG. They give you these uh, little adapt or size so you can adapt them to your ears. That's pretty cool. And then here's the headphones. Best set of headphones I've ever seen on a, on a phone. So it's got like a braided type cord. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's like braided. Okay, um, so unravel these things. You have a little microphone here with some volume options. Here's the headphone itself, the AKG. They're kind of angled to where they go straight into the canal. I did try my wife's out before I did this video and at 100% they were extremely loud but they weren't crackling or anything like that and then at 80% they weren't as loud they had a little bit of a drop off in volume but everything is very crisp so like I said best set of headphones I've ever received in a phone uh, setup so you put those to the side and then go ahead and I think that's everything okay cool so go ahead and clear all that out and we have the phone okay so you have your speaker right here for the phones or for your for your call sorry you have your selfie cam your iris scanner your power button this basically hasn't changed in the last few Samsung's I literally just looked at my S6 and everything's almost identical. Um, so power button, up here you have your SIM port with your micro SD. Over here you have your volume buttons, your dedicated Bigsby button. And then as you turn the phone you have a 3.5 millimeter jack for audio, your type C USB, and your speaker. Like I said, basically just like the S6. All right. Uh, as you've noticed, you don't have the home a home button there, not the physical one. It's built into the phone. On the back, we have the camera. You have the flash, and then you also have your new fingerprint scanner right here. Some people don't like it. I necessarily never used it, and I don't really d d uh, find out. I don't think that the the location is a problem. I feel like with the amount of security features this phone has, like using a fingerprint, I mean, I know it's better than the iris or the uh, facial recognition, but that's, I don't use it. Okay, so power it on. I really like that Samsung display. So uh, it's supposedly 2960 by 1440, 570 pixels per inch. It does carry, or the pixels per inch is a little bit bigger than the S8 Plus. The S8 Plus pixels per inch is, one second. Uh, 529 pixels per inch so yeah um, both come with nougat Andrew Android 7.0 nougat camera like I said 8 megapixels front 12 megapixels rear 4k video recording at 30 feet per second or frames per second sorry 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second you have 8 times digital zoom uh, we have an octa-core 2.3 gigahertz quad processor it, it's a little bit different depending on the region you're in uh, okay 3000 milliamp battery on the S8 and I did a little bit of conversions it's listed at 155 grams which converts to 5.46 ounces 5.86 inches long 2.67 inches wide and three or 0.3 inches uh, thick. So, as you can see here, it's a pretty slim phone. It's pretty cool though. So, uh, I have a little bit of a. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you have the always on display. Here's your power or your home button right here. You can click that. Okay, I have a, 
I don't want to give you my password. And my facial recognition isn't working. One second. I don't know, I've had an issue with the facial recognition. I don't know why, but maybe it's just because I don't hold my phone standard every time. But anyways, um, so here's the essay. I, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm pretty particular in the way I do my thing, so I always make these folders, just add everything to the folder. It's easier for me than having a bunch of apps all over my home screen. So I usually do social media, banking, games, sports, music, fitness, just regular media, have my calendar, have my clock, have my weather app. I live on the great island of Guam, so that's that. And then I always have phone messages, Chrome, camera, and my email. Okay, so uh, let's, let me see. I guess I'll just go through some, some options for you. So uh, the display, if you turn the phone, I don't know if you can see, but you got these bubbles right here. They go with the phone, that's pretty cool. The edge display is really awesome. You got your notifications down here. You got your extra notifications, basically like the previous update for the S6 and S7. And then, um, so if you swipe up, you go to your applications. And then at that point, you can just swipe around like you did early, uh, in the previous modes. They do have an option to where you can go to settings, go to advanced features, and you can actually set your apps up to where you'll have the apps button on the main screen like you did in the S6. Okay, so let me go back to settings. So for connections, you have your basic stuff. This phone does offer Bluetooth 5.0, so you can actually connect to two different devices at the same time. It'd be really awesome if you have speakers in separate rooms in your house. You can connect to those and rock out. Uh, don't do like I did and down, uh, transfer all your apps whenever you first get the phone because I used a whole gigabyte of mobile data doing that. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, sounds vibration, you can go through here. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. As far as sounds and vibrations, notifications, you can change your notifications. Okay, display. So you can change your brightness. Auto brightness is supposed to like keep track of your brightness levels and adjustments and apply them. Blue light filter, screen mode. The phone originally comes in FHD, so that's not the exact 2960 times 1440, or 14. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 1440 that your the Samsung claims. So you have to fix that when you get the phone. It does change your battery life, but I did it anyways. Uh, screen zoom and font home screen click on that you can hide some apps apps button so you can click on this this is what I was telling you about so it'll change this button over here to apps okay so it just messed up my email awesome display home screen it's not gonna fix it so I'll have to do that later you can change your home screen grid so you can do 4x5, four 4x6, five, 5x5. Four by five. Like I said, you can change apps. You can change your app screen grid. Right now, mine's at 4x6. I could do 5x6. Five you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. Why the hell not? All right. Display. Home screen. I think that was it for that. You can change your home and app screen if you want. Okay, full screen apps, you can go in here. You can some apps won't work full screen, some do. So you just have to work with that edge screen, edge panels. If you're new to the edge series, you can get the edge panels. I'll I'll display or I'll talk about that a little bit more. LED indicator, just show, like the battery indicator basically, status bar. Okay, so no no uh, navigation bar. This is something new because the navigation bar is actually built into the screen now. So you can go in here, you can change your navigation bar. 
so you can change it to whatever color you want. Mine's blue. Go Gators. Uh, unlock with home button, so you can actually click this and then you press your home button really hard. Not really hard, but you press down, you'll hear it click, and then it'll actually unlock the phone that way. You can go into here, you can change to where your back button is over here. I know some people are uh, like that. I, on the other hand, just leave it the way it is. And then you can change your home button sensitivity to more sensitive, less sensitive. So I'll just keep that in the middle. That's pretty cool. You can change your screen timeout, keep screen turned off, screen saver, all that jazz. Wallpapers and themes, advanced features. This is pretty cool. So keep the screen on while you're looking at it. It's smart stay. Um, one-handed mode. So you can go into one-handed mode. You can click on and then you can click button and what happens is you'll tap the button three times and then it'll turn you into one-handed mode shrinks the screen down so you can actually use it your thumb can go all over the place if you don't do that if you don't set up that feature tap it three times if you don't set up that feature it's just gonna be by gesture so you'll swipe up from the corner as the picture shows and it'll open your one-handed mode me personally I got giant hands so I'm good uh, finger sensor gestures this one you can actually use the heart rate sensor on the back to open your notifications whatever it is there we go so you can pull it down and then you can push it back up okay that's just by doing this once again I don't need that quick launch camera by pressing the power button twice multi-window at the same time this is pretty cool so you can actually use your recents button I don't really know if I have anything in recents let me just open something else so Chrome I haven't even used it there you go now, you, now you've seen stuff yeah alright so if you're here you hold the recents button okay you hold it this will pop up okay and then you can just work your way through that's pretty cool. Let me go back to settings. Oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm new to this, so. Yeah, it's kicking my ass. Don't, don't hate on me, people. What the hell did I just do? Okay, so I fixed it. You just hold the button to exit out. That was crazy. And I think I just ruined something that I set to record. Yeah, tell my wife to shut up. I tried to get Google Voice to do Siri, but I don't ever use it. And that definitely shows that I don't use it. Okay, so settings, advanced features. You can go smart capture, palm swipe to capture, basically. Like, just do that for a selfie. Um send SOS messages, direct share. Okay, and then uh, we have device maintenance apps, lock screen. So in here, you'll go in here, you can set your facial recognition, your fingerprint scanner, your iris scanner, your pattern, your password. So you can do all that in there. The, I, it's probably because I'm not holding my phone the right way, but I mean, if you do the facial recognition, it might also be because I restart the phone, but see how quick that was I just looked at it and boom it opens but if I point it that way it's not it's not reading me you have these these arrows up here that'll uh, they'll like blink so boom it's pretty quick uh, let's go back and you have your software update I there was already a software update available not sure what it did, but yeah, it did that. And then you can go into accessibility, you can go into hearing, flash notification, you can actually set your camera to light once you're getting a phone call like the apples do, and then the screen as well. Uh, sound detectors, doorbell detector, baby crying detector. It's a really, really cool phone. Okay, you can actually go in here and remap your Bixby button to different and then let me go ahead and turn that on because everybody likes some gifs on their keyboard or gifs like my homeboy used to say 
Okay, so that's the settings menu for the most part. There is a couple that I didn't go over. Uh, let me add that email back to my screen down here. Okay, so for the camera, go in here. Hey, it's me. What's going on? So you can swipe up. It changes it from front to back. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then there's another feature that this phone actually is the first to have, but me, I'm kind of not prepared, so I don't really know it. Uh, first smartphone with selective focus on front camera. So, not exactly sure how you enable that. But you can go in here somewhere and sorry for not knowing it, but you can go in here and select to focus it so that it can it can focus on your eyes or on your face. Background be blurry, but you can actually go in and swap it. So you can take the picture in select to focus, but then you can go back and swap it to where your face and everything else is clear. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty much the camera for that. And then uh There's a kid-proof option to where you can go in here and basically set your phone to where nothing can, no buttons will work. You can do it on a timer, just in case. Uh, there's a, let me go show you the calculator. This is pretty cool. So the calculator actually has a unit conversion button. You can do anything in here. So if you don't know that a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, or an ounce is 28 grams, or a pound is 16 ounces, or a centimeter or inches like 2.5 centimeters then you can go in here length one meter is 3.28 feet let's see if I was correct on centimeters 2.54 centimeters so yeah so you can go in here go back click down here you can change it again let's do volume gallon so let's see what one liter to ounces is or maybe uh, milliliters 1,000 milliliters, you can do everything in here. So if you're not good with conversions, you can go ahead and use this. Gram, pound, ounces, ton, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Area, all this nonsense. So that's cool as far as the calculator goes. I know it's a small feature, but it's, I mean, I work in transportation, so it's a pretty big feature for me. Okay, so now I think I've pretty much gone over most of it. I mean, you can go into messages and what did I just do? Go to messages, settings, backgrounds. You could change it to anything you want. See, you can even go in here and change it to your pictures. So if you want to like make your background of your kids and you can do that. Quick responses, you can set all those up. Uh, notifications, font size. It's pretty cool. There is a function where you can actually go in and more settings. Text messages. That's not it. You can go in and actually change the message bubbles that pop up when people message you. So that's cool. Mine's just blank right now. I haven't really got into that. Um, I, yeah, I live in Guam, so there's that. Okay, so you swipe left, you have your Bixby. You can also just press the button, he pops up, just gives you all your rundown, so that's not my alarm. Tomorrow's weather, today's step target, really haven't done anything since I got this phone. Uh, you got your music, upcoming reminders. You can do themes, so you can change your entire phone theme if you want to. And then it has some information. So you can edit all this if you'd like. And there's supposed to be a Bigsby voice coming out to where you can basically say, okay, Google. But it'll be Bigsby. So. Check out these pictures. That is not correct. All right, so I don't really know if there's anything else as far as that goes. Okay, so let me just go through some crazy little, I already showed you the navigation bar, the fingerprint notifications, uh, there's an emergency alert 
settings so you can go to settings and then go where's that great I don't know where it's at gosh dang it general management no no damn it okay so like a few other things not really prepared Awesome. Security, maybe this is it. Damn it, where'd it go? Okay, well, there is a function to where you can go in and actually set it up to where your phone, if you tap the power button three times, will actually uh, dial the emergency services. Let me see if I can just look it up in here. Oh, that's bad. Nope. Okay, well. Privacy. Apparently they don't know what privacy is. Okay, so yeah, you can go in here. Um, I will try to figure it out and put it in the description below. But it basically... Okay, here it is. I actually found it. Send SOS messages. So... You press this to on, it'll say okay, agree. Now, add at least one contact. Okay, but, okay, so I'm not gonna do that. But you can add, attach pictures, so what it'll do is whenever you press your power button quickly three times, if you have that set, it'll take pictures in each camera just to get a, a sense of what's going on. It'll also attach a five second recording, so if you're getting mugged or something like that, you can yell out something and it'll record that. That's pretty cool. And like I said, it'll send it to the contacts that you have provided. So that's really awesome. Okay, there's another one, multi-app viewing. That's the one I showed you where you could have the different apps open. Messages customization performance mode. So you can actually change the performance mode of your battery. If you go into settings and you go into the battery, you can actually adjust the battery level to what you want it to be performance mode right there so you can do game entertainment so there's that you can um, go into battery mid will give me an extra five hours and 32 minutes max will give me an extra 13 hours you just click on it, it shows you so you decrease your brightness by 10%, lower to FHD, speed limiter on my CPU, background network usage off, and always on display. So it'll off, so that'll that'll add an hour. If I do max, it just basically turns everything off, adds nine hours. And then down here I can actually save power by clicking on an app and closing it. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. There is one link that I wanted to try to see if it works, um, but I did not actually, I took a picture of it. Oh, I didn't even show you the edge. So you have the apps edge. You have these apps over here. You can set them up however you want. You can scroll, you get smart select. So you have rectangle right here. I can go ahead and take a, screenshot really quickly of that and then I can extract text it'll pull all the text out of the whole picture so that's pretty cool set as draw save okay so go back on that Whoop. there's oval there's an actual gif animate I always I don't know why I call it gif there it's a debate amongst my friends animation gif so you can basically make one of the video you're watching pin to top okay there's quick tools so I don't know if this is gonna work quickly or not I'll give it a few seconds basically it's a let me see it says move away from any magnetic objects Let's see if it works anytime soon basically it's a it's a compass and then over here you can actually turn on your flashlight you can turn up 
and you can turn it down. You can put it on SOS. So if you need somebody to see you, you'll get your little blinky going. There you go. Turn that off. Okay. And then over here you have centimeters. You can do inches up to four centimeters up to 10. Okay. You can just click on it. It actually will measure it out for you. That's pretty cool. Yahoo sports over here. So you can just set up your sports team how you want it. Cowboys got robbed by Aaron Rodgers. Lakers are going to get a top three draft pick. And the Lightning didn't do too well this year. The only thing I didn't like about this was that you couldn't do any college sports. Which I'm a huge college sports fan so that kind of hurt me a little bit. You can do device maintenance in here. Fix it so that'll show you how your device is running. CNN. You can click on whatever, it'll show you around there. Music, control your music from here, weather, and then any finance. You can go into settings, there's more options that if you want to use them. So let me see, people edge, so you can actually just add contacts, click on the contact and it'll pull them up, clipboard edge. So if you copy anything, it'll show up here. Reminders, tasks edge, calendar, Samsung internet right here. And you can download more edge panels if you'd like. So, different ones. They're, they're a dollar, so whatever. So, yeah. That's that. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything. I really like the apps. Scroll up, that's pretty cool. I don't really like having a bunch of home screens, so whatever I'd like on my home screen I just put it in a folder and that's that um, pretty much it the phone is great I love it um, I heard there's an issue with the screen protectors like the tempered glass and whatever but I'll have to review that later on as soon as I get my case and all that stuff but the phone does hold fingerprints, but once I put my case on it, I mean, who's going to get this phone and not put something on it at least? So now that I've done this review, I can rip my, my plastics off. And that's pretty much it. Actually, no, wait, no. I wanted to show you that one. I keep forgetting. Don't look at me. Okay. So I saw on a, on a YouTube video this bit lie. So let's go ahead and see if our smart settings will help us out. Done. Oh no. Optical reader. You know what I can do? Just click on this. camera no where's the fucking thing at damn it bit l y nah screw it let's just do this sweet emails by me alright so google We'll just go back and forth because I'm not really tech savvy sometimes. Bit ly slash install free my apps. Install free my apps. Where'd it go? Right there. So you click on this. Okay. And install. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install that. Here in Guam, our, uh, our rates aren't that great, so we pay a good amount of money for average internet. So that's why it's going super slow. But basically what this app does is... No. Okay, so you'll open it. Okay, continue with Facebook. I actually haven't set up Facebook yet, so. 
probably not gonna work. Yeah, okay. So what you do is you go in here, it's basically like any other um, free app sort of deal. You'll There will be a list of offers that you can do and you'll go in there, you'll download an app, play it to level five, whatever you have to do. And then once you do that, you will get your reward and they'll give you points. And then you can actually redeem the points for gift cards. They have Amazon gift cards, Google Play gift cards, Best Buy gift cards, uh, Walmart gift cards, all kinds of stuff. So you can do that and just by playing free games. So that's pretty cool. But that's all I have. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments section. Please subscribe. Go ahead and give me a like. And uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos uh, in the near future of just anything and everything, really, that I, that I buy. I'm going to review it. Uh, I'm going to do Guam hiking videos. Um, just basically trying to get out there on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh thanks for reviewing my video if you have any critiques let me know and uh take it easy thank you okay so i got the app to work now so uh free my apps right here okay so you go in here and you go to apps so there's gonna be a few apps in here that you can choose from so you go ahead and click on one of them it'll say reach castle level five or the other one build pet plaza so you do that you get your points and then you'll have your offers sorry no offers are available right now okay that's cool let's see what we have here okay so boom boom and then you go to redeem afterwards because you'll have a you'll you'll build up a points system so amazon 1500 credits so these two right here are 125 so it's going to take a little while, but at least you have an option to get some free dough if you want. iTunes, Cards, Google Play, CVS, Steam, Hulu, Visa, PlayStation Store, Starbucks, Best Buy, Domino's, Walmart, Target, Sephora, Groupon, Fandango, Redbox, Xbox, Facebook, NASCAR Superstore, hell yeah baby left turns, free my apps t-shirt, GameStop gift card, AT&T Go phone, American Cancer Society, Red Cross, ALS, all kinds of stuff. And so yeah, that's that's like at least 20, 25 different things you can redeem it for. So that's pretty cool. You can choose to donate or you can just choose to get some discounts on whatever you want to buy. Alright, so just wanted to correct that. Take it easy.